Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So today we are going to talk about uh, this uh, DF Mini MP3 player. Uh, this is a cheap and really a handy module uh, to use if you want to play some MP3 files uh, with your microcontrollers projects. Uh, and uh, what else we are going to talk about? We are going to talk about this amplifier uh, because in order for this to work, it's best to uh, use amplifier like this. This is model TPA3110 XHA232. It's two channels 30 watt each and I am powering it uh, with uh, this uh, 12 uh, volts uh, power supply. So in order to set up this amplifier you have to solder a few wires. Let me show you. With these two connections you are going to solder your power supply. So you have VCC and ground connected to power supply. Uh, in here uh, you are going to uh, connect a uh, pin uh, for uh, left channel, for right channel and for the ground. These three wires are going to be uh, connected to your microcontroller. And on this side you are going to uh, wire your speakers. Here you have R- and R+. This is for uh, right channel, ground and plus. And on another side you have for a left channel too. But for the purpose of this episode we are going to use only a right channel. And I have uh, this uh, cheap uh, speaker. So don't expect some good quality from it. Now, what else we are going to use? I am going to use my ESP32 microcontroller uh, to run this project and I am going to use Serial 2. Uh, and uh, pins for my uh, Serial 2 are uh, IO pin uh, 17 and uh, IO pin uh, 16. And of course we are going to use 3.3 uh, uh, volts uh, to uh, power uh, our uh, MP3 player and of course we are going to use ground pin. So uh, these uh, two uh, pieces of equipment, our microcontroller and this model are, communi uh, are communicating uh, via uh, UART communication. And of course we are going to need uh, one SD card where we are going to store some uh, files, some sound files. And what I see as a major problem uh, for this model. Well, your files must be enumerated like 001, 002 and so on. You also can split your files in multiple directories, but you cannot read file names from it. If you want names of your songs displayed in some way, you would have to hack this system around. But for now we are not going to worry about that part. First, let me uh, tell you something about uh, pins uh, on this uh, baby boy. So as you can see uh, these two pins on both sides are connected uh, to a shell for your SD card, for your uh, to your SD card socket. Uh, these of course are ground pins, these two. And uh, VCC pin it's uh, this one, top left. Then uh, second uh, beneath uh, it's RX pin, then you have TX pin and now uh, you have a pin uh, that is uh, called uh, DACR and uh, beneath it uh, DACL. These two pins you are going to use usually if you are using amplifier like in this case. But if you are using uh, speakers directly you are going to use uh, this pin and the last one on this side. Because these two pins are speaker pins and you can run speakers up to 3 watts, not, not more. Pins on this side you are rarely going to use. Top pin, uh, it's a busy pin. Uh, if it's set to low that means that uh, uh, this module is going to play. If you set it to high uh, this uh, module is, is going to consider itself busy and it's not going to play. Uh, next two pins are going to be used uh, if you are using USB connection. With next two pins you are going to uh, deal with uh, playing uh, segments. So with first one you are going to play first segment. With uh, the second one you are going to play uh, fifth segment. Uh, and then we have these three pins. As I said uh, these uh, connected to shell of your SD card, it's ground. And then the last one, it's IO1 and one uh, before it, it's IO2. And if you short press IO1, you are going to play a previous document. With long press, you are going to decrease volume. And with IO2, if you short press, you are going to play next document. Uh, but if you uh, press long, you are going to increase volume. So finally, uh, let us assemble this. 
So first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in my SD card. I have only uh, one sound file on it, but it's uh, enough for this episode. So I'm going to use pins 17 and 16 for your communication. And first I'm going to plug this model in, in my breadboard. All right, okay. So this is VCC, I'm going to connect it to plus, then ground to minus, now RX to TX, TX to RX, and we are going to connect ground from microcontroller with ground on breadboard and I am going to connect 3.3 volts to plus on my breadboard okay and uh, now I am going to connect my amplifier so first I am going to connect ground to ground like this and now I can use any of these th uh, these pins but first I'm going to turn on my power supply okay uh, later on I'm going to explain code and code it's already uploaded uh, to my microcontroller so let's see what we are going to get uh, if we connect this pin so for right channel so I'm going to connect it here and I'm going to restart my microcontroller. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, connected uh, this pin uh, to my uh, SPK2 pin, but now I'm going to uh, connect it to uh, DAC1. So this is fourth from this side. You see now we have different result. Uh, with uh, DAC pins, uh, we are going to uh, run through amplifier. Uh, but of course, uh, this speaker is uh, of uh, bad quality, so we cannot expect anything good from it. But it's uh, good enough for this example. All right, now I'm going to show you the code. So guys, this in front of you, it's our code for ESP32 microcontroller that is going to run DF mini player. And first thing that you're going to notice, we are including DF robot DF player mini dot H. And if you don't have this library installed, please uh, do so. Uh, now we are going to uh, define FP serial and I'm, uh, I'm setting it to uh, serial 2 in order to use my pins uh, 17 and 16. And immediately after that, we are creating a DF robot DF player a mini object. With function print details, we are going to uh, print uh, state uh, of our player. So during song play, we could actually uh, catch some events uh, like timeout, uh, stack wrong, uh, card inserted, card removed, card online, USB inserted, USB removed, and more. So don't worry about uh, this code. So you could easily find it on uh, DF official website. And uh, what we have in here, first I'm initializing my serial monitor, then I'm initializing communication uh, with uh, this MP3 player module. And then we are initializing player and if everything uh, goes well, we are going to uh, print ready and running. In here you have some housekeeping stuff like uh, player set equalizer to DF player equalizer rock. Uh, then I'm setting volume to 15, uh, maximum it's 30, and in here I am playing first song. Then in void loop, uh, first I'm creating a timer variable that is going to get value from millis function. And with every iteration, we are checking the difference between millis and this timer. And if uh, it's uh, bigger than uh, 5 seconds, we are going to start playing this file from the beginning and then we are going to print some details. Uh, we are providing uh, read type, 
type it's actually that uh, event that we want to catch and uh, we are uh, providing player read. read is going to return number of that song so guys that's all for this episode i hope that you learned something new something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya